But for Stefan Edberg, it's been all up. He's now overtaken Ivan Lendl as the world's number one player on the IBM ATP computer with his win yesterday over Michael Chang. He said afterwards that it takes his best to beat Chang and he showed just that at the end of the match. Davis wants to change that and beat Gilbert in the other center. Scott Davis had a very good week. Won four apiece. Gilbert's won the last four, but they've had some close matches. It's game. And yeah, going into a five game to three now. Been an outstanding year for Stephen Edward. He got to the final in Australia, as you see him in isolation. He lost Ivan Lendl there. Yeah, Indian Wells, he beat him. Stefan Edberg, it's becoming more and more commonplace. Stefan, more magnificent hardcore tennis from you. Have you ever played this well on the hard? Um, well, I'm playing very well at the moment. I've played a lot of matches lately, which always help, and I feel in good shape, and uh, there's nothing wrong with my confidence. So, you know, I'm, I'm playing the right shots at the right time that normally happen. Can you talk about what it's like being number one for, uh, you've been that way about 10 hours now. How's it feeling? Feeling very good. Um, yeah, you feel good within yourself. Uh, I enjoy the tennis as much as I've ever done, and um, you know it's a great feeling. Did you call your parents and stuff? I mean, have you have you celebrated much? Yeah, well, I couldn't yesterday because it was too late, but I will today. Uh, I'm sure they know about it already because there was a lot of things going on yesterday with the press and uh, Swedish press, of course, and uh, a lot of things to do. Sweet, well done. 
to this year's winner of the Thriftway ATP Championship, Stefan Edberg. This is always going to be a very, very special week for me in my entire life, I think, because of a couple of reasons. Because I won here today playing very good tennis, and because I've achieved the number one spot in the world, which, you know, has been a target of mine. It's a lot of hard work, it's a lot of people behind it, and I'd like to thank Annette, my girlfriend, for all the support, and Tony, my coach, of course.